probably one of the few times that Supreme Court justices will ever be talking about Postal 2. When the truth is found to be lied. Okay, so this week, amongst all the election chaos, something else is going down in Washington, D.C. that some may have only just found out about last night on The Daily Show. Okay, I was in there, but I knew about it beforehand. Appar apparently, there's a new law in they're trying to push around in California that would make it illegal to sell violent, uh, what they call violent video games to minors, aka 18 and younger. Now, this is a good idea if you think about it in some ways, but in others, it kind of scares some of the video game industry. Uh, they're afraid that they won't be able to sell their games. And uh, in places like Walmart, which, I don't know, maybe there are a lot of video gamers that shop at Walmart. I kind of do, but mostly I kind of run off to Best Buy. They at least have a decent selection. But, in other words, let's talk about something involving this. The main issue here is little kids getting video games without their parents' permission. Well, that kind of isn't an issue. Let me explain. There is this magical thing in the world of video games called the ESRB. Entertainment Services Ratings Board, I think. Uh, I can look that up later. In fact, I have a video game to demonstrate. Don't make fun of me. I love this game. Right about here, if you can see that, is this magical little rating. It says, Teen. Which means that about age 12 and up can play. I know, makes no sense. But it tells you what's in it. What the worst thing in it? It's fantasy violence. Because, well, it's Final Fantasy. Fantasy violence kind of comes with the territory. Also gives you a lovely little seizure warning above him. I think that's nice. Because some people are photosensitive and all that. But, anywho. Those, uh, there are several game rating system, uh, game ratings in the system. There is, um, EC, early childhood. Basically, only a little kid would be playing this game. Um, this is your Sesame Street video games and your Blue's Clues right there. Then there is E. E is for everyone. You can give it to a little, uh, five-year-old all the way up to nine, uh, grandma, and they'll play it. Then there is, of course, the teen rating, which is kind of like the in-between rating. It's like the PG-13 of its of the video game industry. Then you get your matures. Those are the 17 and up ratings. Uh, uh, recommended for those age 17 and up. They're pretty good. Uh, a lot of them include the most popular games like Grand Theft Auto, Batman Arkham Asylum, awesome game. And playing other very popular titles out there. Then, uh, then there is the mysterious rating, the rating never seen in stores because it's so naughty. The AO rating, adults only. These are your uh, your postal twos. They get banned <laughs> quickly. A lot of stores will not carry AO ratings because of the fact they are so graphic, so nasty. And basically, ew. It's like your custard last stands, your postal twos, basically any game you would be embar e either extremely violent or embarrassed to play. Now, why am I talking? Uh, what does that got to do with this? Well, as I mentioned, oh, postal two is an AO. At least from my knowledge. If not, it should be, because that game is super violent. And, I also mentioned, 
Your AOs never, ever, ever end up in stores. You have to, like, go on the internet and look them down. In fact, Postal 2 is banned in Australia. I think it's processors, too. Yeah, if you, if you can't really find the game, you don't have to worry about little kids buying it. Besides, this is a parent issue. I mean, you don't let your kid go out and buy, uh, your little 10-year-old go buy, uh, what is it, saw. You don't. That uh, That's way too much for them. So you don't let your little bi junior go buy Grand Theft Auto 4, because it's the same thing. Well, not the same, but same in the ranking category. Well, I, uh, that and a lot of, um, what is it, stores, that, especially the ones that cater to video games majorly, will not sell even a mature rated game to a child. It's just not cool, man. So, in any case, I, I think this is more of a Department of Redundancy department. Though, the, what, though, there is one little thing I should mention with this. You know those parents? Sometimes they let their kids play these games. These super violent games. I know a guy who lets a three-year-old play a Left 4 Dead. And the kid, like, asks, Hey, can we go shoot zombies today? Yeah. You can't def use a Supreme, <laughs> Supreme Court ruling to not allow games to be bought and by underage minors when the parents are kind of buying them for them. A little hard. So, yeah. What is this ruling supposed to do? I don't know. Is it supposed to define video games as protected by the First Amendment and therefore art? Ooh. That could be it. Maybe that's the real issue. People still see video games as... Haha, <laughs> toy. Also, really quick, since that video went... part went way too long, I... I am currently at 4,000 words on... Well, a little over that on NaNoWriMo. And I hope I can get to 7,000 by tonight, possibly this weekend. I could get, like, at least a little ahead. I'm, I'm kind of behind. But, uh, yeah, wish me luck. And to all you people out there wizard rocking at Rockstock, I'm catching up to you on NaNoWriMo this weekend. You party all you want. I'm going to get a bunch of words written down. Muhahaha. <laughs>